guys welcome i'm parsh Begal. welcome to my channel where we talk a lot about the female stuff like the female self-care menstrual cycle reproductive cycle a lot more in today's video i'm gonna talk about how to manifest your dream life being in your feminine energy because i think that you don't need to be in the masculine energy if you don't want it to be for manifesting your dream life i'm gonna share some tips and uh these tips are based on my own experience and knowledge and I'm ex actually experimenting with this thing in my own personal life. So hopefully these things will going to help you. Let's dive in. Give this video a big thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you want more such videos. And go site simplewaves.com. The link is in the description box below. You could very well grab the female self-care planner bundle. That's a PDF download which you can download it. It will going to help you keep track of your female self-care lifestyle. The link is in the description box below. Let's talk about how to manifest being in your feminine energy now basically for those of you guys who don't know there are the two basic energies the masculine energy and the feminine energy since you are a female that doesn't mean you're only gonna be having a feminine energy no or a may, man will only gonna have the masculine energy no every human being has both these energy inside of them feminine and masculine it depends which one you decide to choose to pursue in your life depending on what you really want for your life like some females are more in the masculine energy and some men are more in their feminine energy it's not right or wrong it's just the way it is it depends on what you want feminine energy is more soft is more lean back more relaxing more calm not at all chasing believing having faith and just sitting back and relax and that doesn't mean that always the feminine energy will gonna sit back and relax and enjoy the process it doesn't mean sometimes they do need to take an action but their action doesn't correlate to like chasing after a prey it doesn't gonna relate like a masculine energy so this is the general broad perspective about the masculine energy and the feminine energy what really is a feminine energy now how you can manifest your dream life now this thing i have been doing from few months only okay i heard a lot about manifestation i heard a lot about the feminine energy but personally i had a belief in my mind for a very long time like if i really need to achieve my life i have to chase after my dreams i have to be in the masculine energy being in the feminine energy i can't achieve my goals so this was the limiting beliefs i was having and that's why i wasn't fully enjoying my feminine energy because of that and i wasn't fully laying back and relaxing and enjoying the process i was like just chasing goal one goal after the other it's kind of like a chasing game i wasn't feeling relaxed or happy or joyful that's the most important thing but few months back only i actually traced back and i was thinking that what needs to be changed i need to enjoy my life more right isn't it so i'm gonna lean back and go into my feminine energy more and then i go into the more manifestation more manifestation matters i find that they are very soothing very relaxing very comfort you find peace you find joy in that even when you are not taking an action even when you are in the feminine energy and you see the things are working for you so i've been practically doing it from few months and i've seen that the things are manifesting for me whether they are small whether they are big it's happening for me i don't have to chase them so i'm going to share some of the tips over here in which you can do that the first thing is about is actually getting clear of what you really want it can be anything okay it depends from person to person so you really need to be clear about what exactly you want the second tip i have for you need to chase after the things just to get them like even if you are sitting back and relaxing and enjoying the process the things will going to come towards you if you remember in your relationship or if you heard about it or anything like that like when you are chasing after a guy the guy doesn't look at you he's like move away from you but when you stop chasing him when you are in your feminine energy you're enjoying your life you're enjoying the process suddenly he thinks that what happened why isn't she chasing me and he chases you instead of you chasing him isn't it so that same thing works in the manifestation your dreams your desires will going to chase you because they want to live through you they want to be there with you and you are the only one who will going to uh, help them come into the real picture or real 3d world because every person is unique nature never repeats so no other human on this planet earth can be like you you need to understand that you don't need to chase after the things to achieve them that's the second thing you really have to deep down understand it's gonna take you some time if you like me 
if you was like me who was like after the chasing game then it will really gonna take you some time to actually digest this truth because you're gonna go back to your previous reality again and again so you have to actually understand deeply and remind yourself you don't have to be in the chasing game to achieve or to manifest your dream life the third thing you have to do which is so amazing so the soothing is to focus and divert your mind your body or your emotions whatever it is to the direction that makes you feel good this is wonderful i've been doing it from few weeks only and whenever something negative happened i try to think about it why it happened or something like that but then i tell myself is this thing is really making me feel good is this thing really making me feel happy most of the time the answer is no then i tell myself okay it doesn't make me feel good i want to think about something or i want to do something or i want to be in that zone which makes me feel good and suddenly i take my energy or my focus from that particular task to something that's really interesting and that doesn't mean i need to take an action in that moment sometimes i just sit and just move my focus from one direction to the next so that is the thing focus on the things that makes you feel happy that makes you feel joyful and you're going to attract the good things in your life that's the law of attraction energy flows where the attention goes so that's the thing you could do just to focus on enjoying your life focus on the things or the people or the situations or something or the other that makes you feel happy that makes us amazing i love this this is in the zone this makes me feel so much alive like focus on those things instead of the things that makes you feel like suffocating tip i have for you is give yourself what you really want now it could be in terms of beauty it could be in terms of clothing it could be in terms of spa it could be in terms of massaging your body or sand bath beach whatever it, it could be something more physical or it could be something more mental like listening to the audio books or just doing meditation yoga could be okay could depend from person to person so give yourself what you really want ask yourself what i really want right now do i really need to talk or i just want to be just take a nice short nap like what i really want ask yourself and give yourself that because you are the only one who will be able to give that if you want love in your life if you are chasing after the relationship then give yourself that love treat yourself like you will going to treat your partner how are you going to treat your partner you think show that love to yourself just give yourself sometimes i feel like i want to give myself a beautiful dress so i gift it like for a day i give myself this small portable cute printer i love scrapbooking i love art and i'm a artist so i love these small cutie pies and this was really interesting and amazing to actually print the small pieces of the prints like i printed out this one i printed out this one and this was for my personal message to myself so i bought this one and gifted it to myself on my birthday because i usually don't celebrate the birthdays i don't feel like but then at this time i felt like why not give myself something beautiful something amazing that i really enjoy that makes really makes me feel like i love myself so this is just an example guys give yourself what you really want treat yourself like you're going to treat your partner you're going to treat your loved ones how are you going to treat them treat yourself that show the love to yourself show your love to yourself the other person or the other people in your life will going to show their love towards you i have for you which personally i don't do much because i'm more of an introvert person but if you are an extrovert person or you really enjoy the people community or people group then join some communities or group where you're going to see the like minded people where you're going to meet other females who are also focusing on manifestation or who is also being in their feminine energy who is kind of like a similar minded or like minded to you join such community the best way is you don't have to go and find those people in your society or in your city you know you could join the online facebook groups meet up groups and then if you see that if they belong to the same state or the same country then you could very well meet those people and organize an event or a community or a party or something like that where you can meet each other and share your magnetic energy towards each other because this kind of energy is so magnetic like if someone is actually being in this energy and other person is also trying to be in this energy you're going to feel that energy okay you're going to feel that vibration that frequency and that's a great way to actually up level your life or level your life to be among the people who are similar like you or who have already achieved the things that you want to achieve or who are in the similar energy last tip i want to share with you obviously there are so many tips 
is to always ask yourself whenever you are in a situation is that is this thing or is this situation or people is making me feel good or not if the answer is no then you have to change the things or you need to focus on something that makes you feel more happy focusing on being more grateful focusing on the appreciating the things that you already have in your life or you could actually replace that thing simple so if you are having an argument with your boss or with your partner with your family member and ask yourself is it making me feel good obviously not argument doesn't make us feel good all other than satisfying our ego because if we win the argument that it will going to satisfy our ego but it doesn't make us feel good like our inner self our universe that who is inside of us doesn't going to make it feel good right so tell yourself it's not feeling good i'll going to focus on something that makes me feel good so practice gratitude at such times when you lack the goodness in the situation like often times you feel like you're trying to find the goodness in that situation but you are not able to find it and you were like what was that how i actually related or how i actually find logic in it or how i actually find the good things in that then that way in that situation you could be grateful because you learned something new so you could be grateful about it or you could appreciate something good in another person in the situation or in yourself i just missed out one point over here guys is like sometimes when you're in an uh, argument with someone or someone is trying to prove their point in front of you you can be grateful you can be appreciating the things you can add the situation there and then and you can say okay fine you rather be right than rather be feeling good it depends on you whichever route you choose so instead of going into an argument and having a negativity and all that stuff you can just cut the cord cords immediately and just cut the situation and tell that person okay fine whatever you're saying if you feel good then that's great okay and you just cut that argument there on that and later on you could actually pat your back and tell yourself you did pretty great job you avoid the argument you did a pretty great job i love you and give yourself a positive self talk a positive motivation a positive energy and congratulate and celebrate and appreciate your own uniqueness that you handle that situation so well energy guys okay everything is about the energy so when you are in a high vibe when you are having a high frequency you're going to attract all the things that are high vibe high frequency because you always going to attract only those energies only those situations or people in your life which are matching with your frequency but if you are negative whole day you're going to attract more negativity so that's why the manifestation the number one thing when it comes to the manifestation is all about the energies and this doesn't come overnight you have to practice it you have to be actively aware of what's happening inside of you what your self talk look like what you're saying to yourself constantly what's happening in your situation how you're dealing with the situation how you're taking it what your inner self is talking about you have to be active you have to be aware of that you can't be like a blindfolded and going into the life wherever it actually taking you and going with the flow no 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 you need to tune in side of us and be aware what's happening and then choose which path to go and manifesting the life is always about choosing the path of least resistance choosing the path that makes you feel more good sometimes you do need to take an action other times you don't have to someone else will going to take that or will going to do that part for you because you are in that high vibe so hopefully these tips will going to help you manifest your dream life being in the feminine energy because these are all the feminine energy part you are not actually being in chasing the game or masculine energy you are relaxing enjoying focusing on the good vibes and that's all you need hopefully you find this video useful i'll going to see you in the next video with the new amazing topic till then take care bye bye